Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the replace function in Microsoft Excel. Occasionally in counseling research, after we record values in a data set, we want to change the way those values are displayed. And if we know the location of the text that we want to change, of the string that we want to change, then the replace function allows us an efficient way to make these changes. So here in this Excel worksheet, I have three columns. I have an ID number, value to modify variable. I have some different values that may appear in data sets or the types of values that may appear. And then I have the variable replace. And this is where I'll be putting a formula that will replace values in this variable. So if we take a look at this first value, we can see it's just four numbers and they're separated by commas. And let's say that we want to put a semicolon after the first value, but leave the other two commas as they are. So we'll go over to the replace column and we'll start with replace. And then it's going to ask for the old text. So I'm just going to reference cell B2 here. Then the start number. So if we look, we can see that the comma that we want to replace is in position 3. 5 is in position 1, 1 is in position 2, and the comma is in position 3. So the start number will be 3. A comma is just one character in length. So for number of characters, just one, then a comma, then quotation mark, and the new text in this case will be the semicolon, and then close quotation mark, close parenthesis. So you can see we have 51 comma here and then 51 semicolon here. Now looking at cell B3, we can see we have the same value here, but in this case we want to replace all the commas with semicolons. Now for this type of change, where we know we want to change a particular string, in this case a comma, to a semicolon, the substitute function will achieve the same goal and it'll be a lot faster. I have separate videos that cover that. But let's go ahead and use the replace function here to replace all three of these commas. So because we have to make three replacements, I'm going to start with replace, and then you can see the parenthesis comes up, and then replace again, and then replace a third time. So we have three replacements. Then the old text will be B3. The start number will be 3, and number of characters, 1, and the new text will be the semicolon in quotes. Close parenthesis, and then we'll put a comma, and we can see now it's looking for a start number. In this case, it'll be seven, and again, number of characters, one, and then comma, quotation mark, semicolon, quotation mark. Another parenthesis, and then comma, and we can see again it's asking for start number. In this case, it'll be 11 comma, one, comma, quotation mark, semicolon, quotation mark, and then the final parenthesis. So we hit enter, and we can see that it replaced the three commas with semicolons, but it had to specify the location of the string of the three commas. So taking a look at this next value, we can see it's no underscore symptoms, no symptoms, and let's say in this case we just want to remove the underscore. So it'll be replace the old text, cell B4. The start number will be 3. And the underscore is just one character, so number of characters will be 1. And the new text will be a space in quotation marks. So we can see we have no underscore symptoms and then no symptoms. However, in this fictitious data set, what if we had some entries recorded as no symptoms 
and others record as denies symptoms. And for the purposes of recording these data, these two statements were intended to mean the same thing, even though they really do mean different things. Let's just say they're intended to mean the same thing. So we can't use this formula because it's always going to make the replacement at the third position in the string. So in this case, we use a combination of replace and find, another Excel function. So we have replace, old text, and then for start number, we're going to use find. And you can see find has two arguments and one optional argument. And it starts with find text. So in this case, it's going to be quotation mark, underscore, quotation mark. The within text is going to be cell B5. I'm going to close parentheses there, and then comma, and now you can see it asks for a number of characters, which again is still just one. And then the new text, which will be a space. Quotation mark, space, quotation mark. So we can see that it removed the underscore as intended, and it would not matter if we apply this function to deny symptoms or to no symptoms. It's going to find the underscore and return the location in the string and use that in the replace function. So I'll show you another similar example here with these next two values, diagnosis colon space one and diagnosis colon space two. Let's say that we're trying to change diagnosis one to read diagnosis five. Fairly straightforward. Let's replace old text, B6, the start number. In this case, it would be 12. Number of characters, one. And the new text will be the value five, the integer five. So we can see we changed diagnosis one to diagnosis five. Now in this instance, no matter what this value is here, as long as it's just one character, it's gonna change it to diagnosis five. So I can move over here and change this to diagnosis four, and it still is gonna put a five into that position, in position 12. And we'll build this next replace function using replace and find, in this case we'll be trying to locate two and replace it with five. So again, we'll start with replace. Old text to be cell B7. The start number will be find. And then the find text will be the two, in quotes. Within text, we'll reference cell B7. Parenthesis, comma, number of characters, one and the new text, the value five. So now we've changed diagnosis two to diagnosis five. Now using the replace and find functions together like this, it's important to note that if there's no two in the cell, this will return an error. So for example, if I tried to apply this formula to diagnosis one, so it went to autofill up, you can see number sign value exclamation point. So then in this last example, we have oriented times three. And this is oftentimes how orientation is written in say a handwritten progress note. Let's say that we want this to read oriented times three with the word times spelled out instead of using X. So again, we we'll use replace function, equals sign, replace, and the old text will be cell B8. The start number in this case would be 10 to get to the X. Number of characters, one, and the new text would be times, and then a space, quotation mark, parenthesis. Now it reads oriented times three with times spelled out. 
I hope you found this video and using the replace function in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.